Welcome back to another episode of Generation Old School. In today's video, we're featuring a 1953 Chevy 3100. This truck belongs to a friend of mine, Danny. And even though I know a little bit about the truck, I'm not gonna be doing the talking. Danny is gonna be telling us all about this truck. So if you guys like this video, and if it is your first time passing by the channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Danny. I'm the owner of a 1953 Chevy pickup truck, 3100. Um, this truck came out of North Carolina. I've owned the truck for the last 15 years. It was custom built the truck and I incorporated my ideas into the truck. So. Truck has full interior. Power windows. Uh, truck has AC, it's not installed in it, but it has AC. This dash to the truck is not the original dash to the truck. It's out of a 1951-52 Chevy Deluxe. Mm -hmm. The steering column is out of a 1953 uh, Buick. And so is the steering wheel. Like I said, this truck don't come with any interior. The carpet you know, was put in, door panels, headliner. And you mentioned that it has power windows? I have power windows to the truck, yes. So it's, it looks it retro, a, it has, but it's actually power windows. Correct, yes. Wow. Yep. Do you know what, type, what company does that? Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I purchased it off of Speed Motors. They saw a whole kit for that. Nice, yeah. man. Nice. Um, the seat, we actually cut the seat pan to lower the actual stance of the, uh, the seat. Okay. We, we removed the springs out of the seat. We put cushion in it. So it sits lower. Nice. I know some of the viewers are gonna wanna know about that uh, front visor. Visor? Can you tell me about it. Yeah, actually that visor, I found it on um, Craigslist. Okay. I bought one with my buddy and I happened to stay with, I stayed with one of them. But yeah, it's all these stuff you see, like all the chrome trims and stuff like that, purchased on eBay. It's kind of hard to find, so if you can find them, you grab them. You were telling me about the windows that it come like that with that tint? No, actually, well, yes. I purchased the ones with the tint, but they actually have it in clear, a green tint, and a smoke tint. I kind of I bought that one because it matched the truck, the color of the truck. So nice. Tell me a little bit about the paint. Where what was your idea when you were choosing the uh, color of the truck? Um, my idea. Well, I, I happened to be in the mall, and I saw a Jeep with this color, and I I fell in love with the color, and I just had to have the. I didn't know the paint code, but I went to the actual uh, Viva Liz, and they uh, put the paint coat together and they mixed up whatever they, they thought that was I wanted. And that's what the truck is, so that's what we sprayed it with. Beautiful, beautiful. And I can see that the wheels were also painted to match the color of the truck. Yeah, the wheels are steely wheels okay. um, with croaker tires. And then we, we painted this, uh, the wheels to match the truck and put the beauty ring on it. You look at the running boards as well. The running boards, uh, your, wheels, your wheel customs are actually uh, molded in the front fenders. They don't come like that? They don't come like that, no. no. There's just little subtle touches like that. So tell me, what do we have over here in the bed? Um, the bed is uh, actually, the wood is out of Marque. We went ahead and stained the actual bed. Uh, Manny uh, from Tropical Glitz, he did the actual work for it. Your reels custom, he made the actual frame for the actual bed. So the bed lifts up and everything's exposed, airbags, air tank, fuel cell. And the frame is all original? The frame is actually, this truck sits on an S10 frame. It's not the original frame to the truck. Nice, nice. Um, it has full access so I can open the tailgate. And what type of um, air ride suspension do you have on this truck? Air ride suspension, I have an AccuWare with the E-Level. The bags you see are, are, I believe, are from Slam Specialties. Okay. Wow. 
What do we got here? I have a small block Chevy, um, 327. It has a 700 R trans. The rear, the rear end I'm running, it's actually out of a Camaro 68 with 308 gears in it. Uh, have Ram horn headers on it. Uh, pulleys, I'm running a March for pulleys on it. Nice, nice. Kind of kept it that retro old school look, so. We see that the uh, firewall has been shaved. Yes, we There's shaved no the brake booster. There's... Actually, the brake booster sits on the frame itself, so. so it has that clean look to it. And all of these are extras that you could add to the truck back the, in the 1950s. Right, well, you know, these are all aftermarket parts, obviously, but yes, that's what normally came back in the days like that, in the 50s. Danny, tell me what's your favorite thing about this truck? My favorite thing is, uh, I was able to accomplish my, my dream was to build this truck, and I was able to do that. You know, with the help of friends and stuff like that, my family. Yeah, it, it took me a while to build the truck, but I'm, I'm, I'm really happy how it turned out. There's a lot of followers and viewers that I have, and people in general that would love to build a truck like this one. This one, you bought it, obviously not like this, and you rebuilt it yourself. But if you were to do the same thing, will you buy another one and fix it, or will you buy it already fixed? Oh, if you have the money, the sky's the limit. I mean, I mean, it's the right way to do it, just go ahead and buy something. All the headaches, you don't have to worry about the headaches. The only thing I recommend to anybody who's gonna you know, get into a project, make sure you buy something that's you know, running and driving. And you put a spin onto what you want, it will build it, you know, exactly. to what you like. But yeah, I mean, I learned a lot with this truck. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes. But yeah, I mean, in the future, I, I do plan on, I wanna purchase another one, actually. But I already learned from my mistakes, so I know what to do and what not to do now, so. I can remember uh, going to high school and, you know, middle school actually, and my parents be dropping me off and there was a lady, Mommy Springs, I won't forget it. She had a, a cream color like this, a five window. I always told my parents, oh, listen, I'm gonna buy one of those trucks one of these days. And I, I was able, fortunate enough to be able to buy one. I mean, this, this truck actually particularly, when I bought it, I purchased it for $1,800. Wow. So, I mean, I wish I would've known then. What I know now, I would've bought a couple of them, so. Danny, so some of my viewers, they wonder how, how these cars go so low to the ground and how you're able to drive it. And what they don't know is that you actually have a switch that you can bring it up and down to whatever height you want to drive it. Right. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, I mean, Acura runs, it looks like an iPad, uh, an iPhone type of thing. You notice here, you can either mount it, you put it on your seat, I, I, I chose to mount it on my dash. But right now it's all the way to the ground. So if I want to bring it up, it has three settings, one, two, and three, and you can program those settings to what you, right how you want to ride it at. So if I put it at one, the compressors kick on, you hear that. Okay. When the bags fill and the tank fills, and it'll shut off. Right, right there you see the E-level, because you're actually leaning on the truck, so it's leveling out. It's okay. Yeah. So if I want, I, you know, I can, I always, I drive uh, the truck at two, so. Two is your right height. Two is right, my right height, my safe right height. I can ride it at one, but I choose not because, you know, it's it's going to be too low. It's, it's too low, yeah. And that's completely? That's completely on the floor. On the ground. Nice. Nice. And like I said, it'll go up to three. But I don't like three. Three, that's for old people. <laughs> <laughs> well, indeed, that truck is beautiful. To me, it's one of the best trucks here in Miami. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And that. thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to film your truck and have it on our channel. If you guys have any questions about the truck, be sure to leave your comments down below. And me or Danny will be sure to answer those questions. Sure. Danny, what's your Instagram sure. account? Danny D underscore 53. Okay. Again, thank you so much. Guys, give this video a like, subscribe, share, and leave your comments down below. Well guys, there you have it, 1953 Chevy Pickup 3100. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big like, subscribe, comment, 
and follow us on social media at Generation Old School and follow Danny at Danny D underscore 53. We'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.